In this video, I am going to show you how to configure MI Home Security Camera 360. First, I am going to show you how to insert the SD card on MI Camera. For this purpose, turn off the camera and remove the power cable. Then, raise the camera portion. Here, you are able to see the memory card option. Insert the memory card. In the camera, you can see how to keep the memory card for inserting. Then insert the memory card. Just press the memory card. Once we press the memory card, we will get a locking sound. Now our memory card is inserted. Then connect the power. While loading the camera, it will rotate. Once after booting, we will get the we will get the message waiting for connection. If you want to reset the camera. You are able to see the reset button near to the power cable. Once you press the reset button, it will start to reset. We will get a message, reset has been completed. Once finish the resetting, we are able to hear waiting for connection. That means it is ready for scan the QR. If we check our mobile, we are able to see one more Wi-Fi connection to connect with the camera directly. Here I am not using that one. Now I am going to set up MI account for registering the camera. Here we require Xiaomi Home application for registering this camera. Here I am downloading the application and registering the application. For registration, you can use email ID or mobile number. Here I am using the email id. We will get the verification code on email. We need to enter that verification for confirming the Xiaomi account. Once after registering the account, we need to log in again. Then select the right side corner. Press add device. We need to turn on the Bluetooth function. Once we press add button, we are able to see our camera. MI Home Security Camera 360. We need to press that camera button. Once we press that camera button, we will get the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. Then press the next button. Or if you are trying to connect any other Wi-Fi, we need to connect that Wi-Fi first. Waiting Here I am using connection. the same Wi-Fi and same Wi-Fi password. So I am just pressing the next button. Now we will get a QR code. We need to scan this QR using the camera lens. Here I am doing the Waiting scanning. Once finish the scanning, we will get a message QR code scan successfully. That means our QR code is scanned properly. Once we get the message, we need to select head scan successfully, then press the next button. Once we can see done, if you press the done button, we will get the option to add the rooms. We need to select add room. We need to create new room or we can select the existing room. Then press the OK button. Cam then set the name of camera location. That means these all identifying the camera. Here I am using video camera that much only. Then I am pressing the next button. Now it is started to initialize. Here we will get the option to sharing the camera to other account. Here I am not sharing now. We can share later. That option is available in the application. Now our camera configuration has been completed. Here we are able to view the camera. This camera will support both audio in and out. If you are pressing the mic button, we can communicate with that. Hello. Here I am using the same room. That is the reason I am getting the echo. If you want to delete any playback, we can select the playback. And then we can delete the old recordings because this memory card contains old recordings. If you want to format, you can select the then select the manage storage, then format SD card. Here we can format the SD card. If you want to change the settings of recording, there is two options. One is always, the second one is motion detection. If I am selecting always, the recording will be always. If it is motion, the only the motion time will be recorded. In any time, if you want to share the camera, 
In the settings, we are able to see option to sharing the camera. Sharing the camera to other account. For this purpose, first we need to create the second account. Then enter the details of second account details once after pressing the sharing option. While sharing, we can see allow control or view only. You can choose the option which one you want to allocate to the other person. If it is view only, you can select the view only option. Then press the next button. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.